Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Davo from Arkham Esports bringing you a 1v1 StarCraft 2 cast today. <gasps> but it's not only a 1v1 StarCraft 2 cast today, this is the part of the best of 7 series between Game of Drones and White Ra, two epic players. Game of Drones can also be known as Liquid TLO, excellent. Uh, Game of Drones is actually 3-1 up at the moment in this best of 7 series, so if he wins this one, that is it. He has won completely, so White Ron needs to just hold on and do all he can. And all he can is beginning with a a uh, early expansion, just like as I, I'm going to stop saying it soon. I swear, uh, Protoss like to do against Zerg. Yes, indeed, that is what they now pretty much essentially do. This map is Taldrim Altar, also known as the Disco Map. A few. Uh, a few, well, a few months ago, I was calling this the disco map um, because of these funky little dance floors. You can imagine the Bee Gees kind of dancing around on them and that kind of thing. They just look fairly cool. Also, you have the gigantic kind of light show in the middle as well. I mean, you could imagine some sort of 70s dance party happening in the middle of this map, couldn't you? I definitely could. Um, <laughs> this map has very effective kind of visual j visual zoning, which is a term that I've just made up. Um, and basically, what visual zoning means is um, where you can see, you can kind of have a barrier of sight, if it, as it were, if that makes sense to anyone at all. Or if I'm just going off in my own little tangent, uh, yell at me. Um, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind if you yell at me. Okay, so everyone who knows enough about StarCraft will know what actual zoning is. Okay, so zoning is basically where you have a load of units which control an area. So siege tanks are a perfect example of zoning, right? So you have siege tanks here, they are zoning this area, meaning that any enemy units that walk through them are going to get really mashed up, if not completely destroyed, and therefore your enemy is going to want to go around here instead. That's zoning. That's, it's kind of like pushing your opponent into other places. So basically, if you control this watchtower here, this watchtower here, Game of Thrones will know what is happening uh, and what is coming to the base. It's a really convoluted way of saying, if either player owns the watchtowers that's closer to them, they'll be able to know what's going on. Wow, that was long-winded. Very convoluted. Sorry about that. They are... They're not... You know, they're not metal they're not doing you know metal things like listening to pantera anyway enough of the bad jokes enough of the bad jokes i promise i'm sorry i just realized that was like four and a half minutes of purely bad jokes oh dear not good at all so do you have a roach one on the way right now for game of drones excellent and that will uh be pretty essential for being able to push up this ramp right here from White Rail. We also have a lair on the way for Game of Drones right now as well. Game of Drones probably feeling pretty safe. Um, I mean, White Rail hasn't actually pushed out any time yet. I mean, both players playing fairly safe styles at the moment. But we do have a pylon here from White Rail, which has sustained some damage, so it has been found in one way or another. Either that or the seller is feeling like it just wants to kill some of its own kind. Um, the seller is actually going to be running along here, probably not doing too much damage. The queen will probably take him down pretty quickly. Um, but he will definitely see what is going on. The scouting of the seller will be pretty invaluable as well. And these roaches do look like they'll come and clear up the zealot very, very quickly indeed. If, if he doesn't get poked to death by the spine crawlers, which are just up there. Um, more tickle cannons and zealots are destroying these destructible rocks right here and then joined by a mighty immortal these guys must feel kind of outclassed by the immortal and his massive weaponry the immortals are an amazing you know one of my favorites actually uh, their shield really really is nice mm, a hardened shield yeah reduces incoming damage to a maximum of 10 while the immortal still has shields that is pretty kick-ass. I mean, if you could imagine that every every unit in the Protoss army had that, then, well, the game would be extremely unbalanced and everyone would lose. Because Immortals are very good. Immortals are very, very good there. Kind of getting used and used more and more now as well, which is nice. Ooh, but these roaches here don't look like they're going to be able to get away from said Immortal, and it does look like they will die pretty quickly and painful deaths and there we go there is the selective zoning as i have said earlier 
um, being used by White Raw to see whether or not his opponent is actually doing anything constructive with his time, like getting mass roaches or anything like that. But for now, White Raw is just going to pull back and make sure make sure that he is okay within himself instead of going out and attacking. But I mean. Attacking a Zerg player is generally quite a good idea, or at least disturbing a Zerg player is generally a good idea. The last thing- Oh, which he is doing! The War Prism drop! I promise I will get that in some sort of box! That was awesome! I'm really sorry I didn't see that! I will try and get that in some sort of little box in the bottom right-hand corner, because that was sick! Excellent! Very, very nice play there from White Rod. Just I was saying about how you can't leave Zerg players alone. Wire Art almost kills Game of Drones at Spire. So we do have seven Mutalists coming out right now. Uh, White Rot, of course, knows that there are Mutalists on the way. So we have a Twilight Council coming down as well. Um, which will really, really, really help uh, White Rod take care of any potential Mutalist, Mutalist sort of harassment that takes place. Um, because obviously you can just blink your stalker straight under the Mutalists. And that's pretty much curtains for the Mutalisks. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yes, indeed. Just like the Mutalisks are going to kind of be going around a long way off the map to go and do their damage there instead of the Zergling quickly scouting that uh, White Rat hasn't taken his fourth base right now, making sure that Gabriel Jones is still ahead. Awesome. Cool, so... Um, Right, we have White Rock kind of going into his Colossus, skipping his Stargate play that he has been doing in the last couple of games completely. I think he's realised that Stargate play is not working for him today. We do have a big, big wall of gateways going down here right now as well, which are good for two reasons. Good for reinforcing, and very, very good for uh, literally just walling off. Uh, attacking an expansion that has a gateway like this is far, far more difficult than not. So now... Um, Really, I mean, Game of Drones only has one line of attack, and that's to come straight through here like that. Game of Drones has also hidden an expansion in the top left-hand corner, and that is one thing that you can do to really, really get ahead above above and beyond what your opponent has, um, because if White Run ever finds that expansion, he's going to go ahead and presume all the time that, that the, you know, the Game of Drones only has this many bases, where, of course... Us as the viewing observer know this is not true, and Game of Drones has a base in the top left-hand corner of the map. Oh wow, it does actually look like White Rock has polished off the Spire from Game of Drones as well. Um, so we have a greater Spire on the way as well. Yeah, because the Spire used to be there, I believe. Ooh, uh... Either that or I'm just, I am just pranging out really badly. <sighs> oh dear. Okay, we'll see what happens. There's going to be a big creep highway coming uh, pretty much up the centre of the map right here from Game of Drones. We have the pathogen lads on the way as well, so we do have infestors coming. And they will cause quite a lot of damage to White Ra's army. Um, they're something that you really, really don't want to play against. As a Protoss, there's lots and lots of Infestors, especially when there are going to be Broodlords on the field. And that's right, there are going to be Broodlords on the field. The Great Aspire is finishing very soon. It is about to unfold itself like a lady standing up uh, after sitting down in a dress. Let's have a look at it do that. Go on. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's one of the funkiest looking buildings in this game. It almost looks as if it could walk around. That, that would be pretty cool. Like the trees in Warcraft 3. We are, wow, we have quite a lot of uh, zealots attacking right here. And these are part of White Ra's infamous warp prison drops um, that he's very, very well known for. He does like to do his warp prison drops, really, really harass the hell out of his opponents. Um... I mean, the effectiveness of these drops can often be fairly questionable. I mean, yeah, as I say, the effectiveness of these drops can be questionable, but it won't be questionable if these zealots can take down that infestor, and they can, and that's pretty worthwhile at the end of the day, I think. Um, 
yeah, not bad, because that's only 400 minerals in attack. He took down about four Zerglings and Infesta, which was pretty good. He almost killed the Queen. The Queen would have just about topped it off, because, of course, that would make... That would make that would have made TLO miss inject on this hatchery. But here we go, we do have a big pushing army hit from White Ra right now, and it does look like this will hinder Game of Drones' plans to get his broodlords out quicker than usual. Uh, because it doesn't like the Great Spire is actually gonna go down if Game of Drones wants Broodlords, they're gonna have to be morphed soon, and unfortunately they're not the Great Spire goes down, so he is not gonna be able to get Broodlords. And Game of Drones just flat out GG's. White Ra doing a very, very good job of harassing his opponent quite nicely there um yeah good game good game and i mean white rod did stop game of drones getting up that spire and i'm very sure it was a spire and not just this spine crawler <laughs> but i may have been wrong but yeah I'm pretty sure it was a spire, and that was pretty instrumental to the downfall of Game of Thrones. Also, the warp prison drops greatly help uh, White Ra's speciality, some might say. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. So, it is now 3 2, and the next game essentially decides whether or not um, White Ra is going to stay in, or TLO is going to knock him out. Uh, but this is just a friendly. A friendly best of seven so there we go all right guys thanks for watching and we will see you next time cheers